Do you see my screen? Yes, we do. Okay. Wow. Fantastic. Okay, good. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks very much. Um, yes, my name is Stuart Chalk. And uh, before I actually get into this brief presentation about the, uh, the IUPAC Gold Book, let me uh, answer Simon's uh, question from the previous uh, talk. Uh, the CIPM's uh, task group on the digital SI is the, is the kind of the formal entity uh, within uh, BIPM. Uh, I am a member of the, of the expert group that uh, kind of works underneath that, uh, trying to provide guidance relative to unit of measure uh, topics in the digital space. Uh, and we could talk about that forever, but of course, I'm not going to do that. Uh, so um, thanks to the organizers for letting me speak about this. Uh, I'm just going to give you a quick overview of what this thing is called the Compendium of Chemical Terminology. That's the formal title. Uh, however, uh, it's colloquially known as the IUPAC Gold Book uh, because of uh, Dr. Victor Gold, who was the initial editor uh, of this thing uh, that we that is currently online, but originally were uh, physical books that were published. Uh, the online uh, site uh, is uh, at this address, as you can see top right here, uh, and uh, has uh, approximately 7,000 uh, chemical concepts defined um, and uh, linked back to the original source documents uh, which are published in our UPAC's journal, Pure and Applied Chemistry. Uh, I'll talk more about that in a little bit. Uh, as you can see, bottom right, uh, the, each of the terms in the uh, compendium has a DOI associated with it. Uh, so obviously it can be referenced. And in the, mo in the most recent version of the website, uh, we have added uh, an API to be able to access uh, the data on the terms uh, in the system. Um, so this uh, is an authoritative source for uh, chemical concept uh, definitions. And uh, those definitions come out of uh, a lot of work historically that the members of the different divisions of IUPAC uh, and originally commissions of IUPAC uh, went through over the last 40 years in terms of formally defining chemical, co chemical concepts uh, for the community. Uh, and this is uh, very much uh, part of the mission of IUPAC, uh, trying to come up with a common language for chemistry. And of course, originally that was specifically focused on for humans. Uh, obviously, uh, now we are thinking very much about uh, how what that means for computers, uh, and uh, as you will see, our UPAC is uh, with the Gold Book is is currently in a kind of a transitory phase uh, where we're trying to make it much more digital than it has been. Um, so uh, this is just to show you a quick snapshot of the IUPAC Pure and Applied Chemistry website, uh, where these things that IUPAC called recommendations are published. Uh, recommendations are the, the highest level of formal documents within our UPAC, uh, but not all recommendations uh, publish glossaries, terminologies, et cetera. Uh, these are recommendations in a general sense, but a, certainly a big portion of them uh, cover uh, terminologies uh, for chemical concepts across different, different disciplinary areas within chemistry. Uh, and uh, these are uh, written up in a way that is uh, uh, more consistent these days based on guidelines that are available on the IUPAC website. Uh, so you can hear, see here an example uh, of, a, of a concept definition where there is a preferred term, uh, the actual definition of that preferred term. Um, uh, we've historically evolved to also um, take advantage of adding notes to can kind of contextualize terms wherever appropriate or um, give some more kind of subtle guidance as to where it's appropriate to use them and where it's not appropriate to use them. Um, and uh, although not shown here, there are other uh, nominal ways in which uh, when authoring a, uh, a concept term, 
uh, you can provide you know, an example, uh, uh, synonyms, uh, appropriate symbols that might be used with, uh, qu uh, with quantities. Uh, and of course, if a particular term is either deprecated or obsolete, uh, that can be added too. Um, and uh, the guidelines for uh, writing the concept uh, definition are, are being updated as we speak. In fact, there's a new version going to come out very shortly to, to kind of uh, streamline this even further. Um, so uh, historically, there have been, um, let's say, somewhere uh, uh, close to 180 individual IUPAC recommendations that address uh, topics in terms of terminology uh, or glossaries. And um, in, uh, in the late uh, 80s, there was uh, the development by uh, Victor Gold or the suggestion by Victor Gold that uh, there be a compendium of the terms that were defined in these uh, specific recommendations. And as a consequence, um, uh, there was, a, like I said, a first and then a second version of a physical book called the IUPAC Compendium of Chemical Terminology. And then uh, projects were initiated in the early 2000s to to create the first digital version of this. Uh, and this went online in 2006 and was actually XML based uh, at the time, quite forward thinking, uh, but uh, in a sense, unfortunately, uh, a little static. Uh, the HTML documents uh, that were there were, were, were literally that static HTML documents created from XML. Uh, and so it was clear uh, in about 2016, 2000, sorry, 2016, 2017, that this uh, needed a bit of an update. And so I was fortunate enough to get involved and uh, do that update. And so in 2019, we published the new version, which you briefly saw on the first or the second slide. Uh, and this has kind of made, the, made the, the whole system database driven. So it's much easier, obviously, to uh, dynamically generate pages of the individual definitions. Uh, we've had the capability of being able to link out to uh, other definitions. Uh, we've got a device agnostic UI. We've got a, a REST API, as I mentioned. Uh, you can download a copy of the vocabulary. And we have this as a project on GitHub at this point, and, and that means the actual website itself. So that's not, not open. Uh, but at some point uh, soon, we will, we will be having uh, an open GitHub repository in support of this, which uh, will obviously make available things that we think are important for the community to have. Um, the current license on the Gold Book is kind of the standard IUPAC license, which is CC by NCND, uh, but, uh, but that uh, is uh, for the collection. Uh, individual terms, uh, we're currently looking at what we might change that to to make it even more open, although of course, uh, given this particular license, this is open, assuming you're not trying to do anything uh, non -com non commercial with it. Um, so the, the website looks like this. Here's an example page. Uh, again, I said uh, it links back to the original source documents. And so those are the, the versions of record of where these definitions come from. Uh, all, again, I said, as I said, published in pure and applied chemistry and all freely available because uh, that's, that's how the because they are products of the, the union and the, the projects that are run through the union, when published in pure applied chemistry, they automatically uh, become open access. Uh, and uh, we have a lot of indices on here to be able to look things up. Obviously, we have a search option. And then the API uh, that we built uh, at this point is, is, is okay, but you know maybe it could be improved. And if you uh, are interested in this kind of stuff and you go and check it out, I'm very happy to receive any feedback on the current API. Um, uh, one of the things that, uh, that I didn't realize starting this out, and I don't think a lot of people realize when they see a definition on the page is just how um, complicated uh, this can be in terms of architecting uh, the bits and pieces that are really come together to be able to build a particular representation of the entry and the definition. So uh, I think it's a, uh, uh, it, it's a work in progress, but, uh, uh, but anyway, any feedback would be very much appreciated. We do have both XML and JSON downloads uh, for those that are interested. Um, what we're doing right now is uh, going through all of the uh, 
IEMPAC recommendations, whether are glossaries or, or terminologies, and trying to update the gold book. Um, currently, the content of the gold book is from the, the kind of the, the, the version that was originally up. So the content didn't change in the, the update to the website, uh, the, but they, the, 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 the technology to present it did change, but the content didn't change. Uh, right now, the individual divisions of IUPAC are going through a, an update process, which is an extensive thing, because as I said, there's over 180 recommendations. Uh, don't have an exact number, but there's somewhere on the order of 15,000 different terms that have been uh, defined across those recommendations. So the divisions of IUPAC are undergoing uh, this review, and I've built out uh, this system called the Term Review System, which is basically an online way which the divisions are going to be able to uh, review the, the definitions that are under their purview, uh, go through uh, reviewing them for, uh, do they need any typographical changes or, or are there any um, uh, major updates that are needed? And if there are major updates, there's going to have to be uh, a, re, uh, a redevelopment of a particular uh, concept, uh, uh, and its and its definition, uh, or even a whole set of them, and go through the formal IUPAC process again. Uh, but this system is there to facilitate uh, getting these new, the newer terms that have been defined and newer recommendations. Uh, and uh, and we're ongoing with this project at this time. Um, uh, we've we've started this in the summer of last year. Uh, right now, we're just about to get to the point where we have our first new recommendation uh, pushed through the TRS system. Uh, it'll be on the area of chemometrics. Uh, hopefully by the end of the year, uh, we're looking at uh, the complete, what's called orange book, which is the, the color book, as we call it, for the, the area of analytical chemistry, uh, which will have about 3,000 terms. That will be early next year. Uh, and then there are other big uh, sets of terms that we'll be going through, but we hope that um, uh, by the end of the year uh, we will have this this update done. Although uh, it's still going to it's going to take a lot of effort, and so that time frame may slip a little bit. Uh, the point here being the last part of the slide, which uh, uh, while this is an international union, we are all volunteers, and so uh, you know we have our day jobs, and so we do have to uh, be mindful that. Uh, we, we don't have staff that we can uh, you know, employ 24 seven to, uh, to work on this. Um, here are the, if anybody's interested, I'll make these slides available to the, uh, to the organizers. If anybody's interested, you can, you can look at these projects uh, across the different divisions. Um, uh, and if, if you are interested in, you can contact the uh, chair of the project uh, and say you would like to, to sit in uh, on those. Uh, there's a formal process to be approved, to be added as a member of the project group. Uh, but the first thing to do is just to get involved and you know, listen into the conversations that are happening in these groups as they go through their updating process. Um, now, you know, we understand that uh, what we have is, is a it's kind of a nice start, but it's really not enough. So we are thinking you know, forward on this. Uh, to try and make sure we use the gold book uh, uh, to enable uh, chemistry in the digital space uh, through semantics, uh, through vocabularies. Um, and uh, you know we, we've, we've started talking to other organizations in the chemistry space like uh, NFDI for Chem, which is a, uh, a, a German chemical, uh, chemical infrastructure project. Uh, one of many that uh, the German government has authorized. Um, and we're trying to you know, make sure that we support the community of ontology developers in the chemistry space uh, by not only um, you know, making them aware of all of the concepts, obviously, that are defined on the Goldbook website, but also uh, making sure we, we, we help them in the process of integrating definitions of terms that we have uh, into their ontologies and then uh, what we would like to do also is to, to kind of bring that back to the Goldbook website and then also you know, put out there where a particular concept on the Goldbook website is being used in a particular ontology. So that if somebody wants to go the ontology route, obviously they can. Um, some things I'm working on right now uh, uh, to try and kind of 
uh, fill the gap as we're as we're working on the update, which is going to take a little bit of time. Uh, we're going to go through the process of uh, uh, just basically getting a list of all the defined concepts uh, across the different IUPAC recommendations uh, out. Uh, that'll be out uh, by the end of the year, I hope. Uh, openly available on the GitHub on a GitHub repository. Uh, per a request that we've had, uh, we're going to put together a small website just to uh, allow the community to quote, uh, request uh, a new chemical concept definition. Um, that'll be very interesting for us because uh, obviously not only can we look at what we've already uh, got uh, in the pack recommendations and in the gold book, but we can also use this information to, to identify where there are gaps uh, in the coverage of the terminology. And that's a really uh, important thing. Um, Stuart, 15 and, minutes. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. I'm just about to close. Uh, so my question to this community, and of course, we'll be discussing this a little bit today and then hopefully tomorrow is, what else should we chemistry do here? Um, there's, uh, there's a lot we could do, but again, we're a volunteer organization, so we have to kind of prioritize things. Um, uh, if you uh, want to get in contact with me, here's my information. Again, I'll make these slides available to the, to the organizers. Uh, we have a general gold book uh, question uh, uh, email address. And then I also need to acknowledge uh, uh, the, the the other content, the content editor for the Gold Book uh, website, uh, which is Jan Kaiser, uh, and then the the chairs of the two committees that form this joint subcommittee on the IUPAC Gold Book, which I am a co-chair of. Uh, that's Jurgen Stoner from ICTNS and uh, Leah McEwen, who's on the call from uh, CPCDS, the Committee on Publications and Cheminformatics Data Studies.